the game is actually starting from here, guys. Once the anomaly breaks our car, we are on the foot and just need to find uh, the new car now. We need to run to the safety, right? So our car is all gone, as you can see now. This at the start is just a tutorial to learn all the basics, like running, jumping, and everything else. So now we just need to find the car. So now here again, with control is the crouch. Shift is to run, of course, space is to jump. And with an F, we can kick things, you know what I mean? Like this, wood here. And now the story is starting from here. But okay, I just need to... I forgot that I lowered the audio, so let's just try the, the dialogue a bit. Francis, the radar is acting up again. You were supposed to tune up this piece of junk years ago. And that's our car, guys. So you can install this with the button R or with the left mouse click and in the garage is nothing so we can just start driving now so we need to turn on the car put in drive and just go so let's hear now them with the mouse uh, scroll, if you press it and hold, you can zoom in and out like this, guys. That's very useful later. You can zoom in on foot and in the car. With the same button, mouse wheel. Hey, we got a live one! Hey, do you got me? Hello? Hello? Is this thing working? So we are driving to garage now. And here car dies because there is no fuel. And we have this small can here, right? So now the game teaches you how to loot cars for fuel, for like this. So with any can, guys, you can do this. And then take out uh, the fuel from the cars and put it in yours. You will find lots of bottles around the world where you can do this also. But later... There are much easier ways to get fuel, so we will get to that, and now this anomaly, I mean actually the cloud is starting to close in, come on man, what are we doing? So we need to run from here as fast as possible, because this again is damaging the car. A remnant. Ghost in the car, guys. Yes, it's a car. Okay, so now we are entering the garage, guys, and here is actually our base of operations. You will always return here from the run. This game is like rogue, rogue lights or something like that. You're going on the runs, you're exploring the map, charting new territories, and loot everything, then come back, fix your car, upgrade it, and just go again and again and again, guys. So now you see, car is dead. We need to find the enter into the building, and here we are. Then flip the breaker, and this is our garage, I mean the auto shop, guys. So as we progress, we're gonna unlock everything. But first thing first, let's grab the backpack and the goggles. The mechanic eye is this headset that allows us to scan. We to see, this is for Dr. but let's first just do these things the game requires us to do. Here you can heal yourself guys once you come from the run. 
Just use this, it will heal you up to 100%. Okay, we need to put the wheel back on and bring the car, right? So again, with the left mouse click or the button R, guys. I will occupy this broadcast channel with a recitation of the entire collection of poems I personally written. So let's drive the car inside. You want to park it here on this. And that TV is on. You are parked good, guys. That's parking sensor here. So open headset. And now we see the blueprints. And the game wants to build a crude door, right? So you can pin these to the checklist with the C. And then you will see that on the left side to do what we need and everything. Now the next thing you will always have this car here, guys. It will always be here. <coughs> and at the start, once you come from every run, you should just scrap everything from here and take this too, so radio and the computer, of course. But we need items to be able to do that. So now the next thing. Oh, I didn't press here, okay. So it's locked, right? But with the pry bar, you can actually open it, guys, and loot what's inside. Now this, if you hold a C, you can just assign this wherever you want. And the first research, duct tape, it's all good. And you want to open this like this, so now you see two flares. And then you can read all of this. But I will not do it now, because I already know everything. So I will just talk as we go, guys. As I'm doing now. But I will do this just to don't have this like uh, yellow marks, I don't want them. Now next thing, this dumpster guys, also, you can use it three times, up to three times, then it's gonna be exhausted, so every time you come from the run, you demolish all this for resources, and you use this guy three times to see what it's going to give you. So sometimes you can get parts of tools like this now, and this essential when it's have the sign of the heart near them like this. It means that uh, you can't fix these things, guys, you can't get resources in return. Once they are done, they are just done and that's it, you know what I mean. So now here, you can just hold the left mouse button all the time. Don't uh, don't let it go, you know what I mean, because then this will just work much faster. Then just make a circle around the whole car, guys. Demolish everything and then demolish this too, also. Now just grab everything, right? So. Lots of good stuff here. Electronics, copper wire, 9 volt battery. And now from here you get metal. And uh, rubber, what you need for building tires, guys. And duct tape. And lots of resources now here, as you can see. I will show you now. Just to do this one also. And now when you see, I got all this from this car. And from these two things here. So no more resources now. I grabbed everything. We need to craft a crude door, but let's use this guy two more times, just to see. Now it's not gonna work, because it's the start of the game. And this is the workbench, guys. Here you will build everything in the game, starting from tools here, then all the things, this for repairs, kits and things like that. And then all the car body here, then we have all the tires, it's seven tires in the game. Then we have the lights here, guys. This is all about the fuel, battery. Three engines is going to be here, and all the upgrades here, and of course the refine, I mean small tools, you will see that later. So now let's just click all this, this is just the resources. And let's craft, actually, a crude door, so now, just hold the button guys, and it will craft it. Now let's add the doors, I actually need two doors, but... Let's scan this, but I can't scan yet because this is tutorial. So I need to do what the game tells us to do. Let's just take everything. So now again, all of this, once you unlock, you can read all about it. Open inventory, right, so equip, repair, putty, right. 
Now we need to repair the car, like structural integrity, guys. As you can see here, all what's, what all, all what is damaged is here. It will show a percentage right here: the battery, the gas, the car body, and the quirks. So this car actually have the quirk. We will deal about that later. So for now, let's just fix the car, guys. Again, just hold the button, and it will do this and fix the car. But I think one repair putty, maybe it's not going to be enough. But let's see, I still can't scan yet, because the game needs teaches that. But okay, I have three actually repair putties. There is no door at the back, there is no rear bumper, there is no this panel. So I lost actually lots of parts. In this Citra mission. So yeah, I actually now need to scan the flat tire. Now you see that here guys, with the C button, you can check all tires, and it's gonna tell you what you need to fix it. So we need a ceiling kit now, and uh, I don't have any, but because I don't want to build this guys, I want to build the, the panel and everything else, I will then remove this tire, add this new one that we had in the locker, and now... Scan the loose wheel, equip the mechanic kit, so let's see which wheel is the loose one, so front, this one. So now we need the other kit, so with the right click guys, you can equip this straight into your hands. Just right click on the item in the inventory, and we fixed the loose wheel. Here you see the status is what you can get on the car, so for now just the three. Then the next thing, let's start installing things in the car guys. The first one is the storage. So small storage as you can see now here, here is a small can, right? So what I can do, I can throw it here, but still can't use this, yeah, okay. My bad, we'll show you that later. Now we need to install the craft mat, that's gonna be to craft things along the way, guys, but you can craft only oh, tier 1 resources. There's a little prototype of mine in the garage. And later when you upgrade it, you can craft tier 2, but you will never craft tier 3 here. Now the next thing, the R device, that's actually the GPS map, guys. So when you install it here, you will see the map and everything here, so very useful. You can go on the run without that. Now let's see what she has to say. And this tire I will just leave here now. Better we will fix it, right? Then let's start equipping our car with everything and all the resources guys just leave with the button T you can immediately leave everything here and to be able to have space here right in the inventory now what is left to click here our device okay pick up the gear blueprint okay now the game will teach us how to use blueprints and to build things so this is a gear let's refine item and the other one is the hammer, of course. And now, guys, one is the tool, and the other one is actually, but yeah, okay, we need to use the fuel to refill the tank, but I will refill this also. So now just do this, hold the button, refill the car. Later, when you upgrade, you can just, and the same thing on the cans, guys, you can always refill them like this. And leave that here. Put this back here, right? The next thing we need to do this. This is the station to charge the battery, guys. Take a look at the projector against and now you see here the battery is charged. The car is refueled, right? Now we need to plan a route, the first route. And you see now here, actually two tires are not good, and we are missing one, two panels, and one back door. Oh my god, man. So this one. So let me see now, <coughs> before we go, if I want to fix more, I can use repair putty guys on the tires also. And now you see here it's going to change the color, it's going to go green, so let's do this one too. Because now we will go on the first run. Yeah, okay, tires are good now. I mean, not yet, but uh, yeah, I need to use two repair putties on one tire guys, because... It uses more on the tires than on the body parts, and you want to do this. And now this door, actually, 
So they are cracked again. That's another status. And again we need a ceiling kit guys. But I don't have any more. And I can't build them I think. Okay I can build one. So yeah let's build that ceiling kit. And just fix this door. Then the kit will be destroyed in the process of course. And now can I build maybe a door? No. So duct tape. Okay we can't then build anything else guys. And here is the root planner. So here you can see later when you start opening the map and mapping the zones. You will see where you can go. From here you will pick routes and everything. And now with the V you can toggle and off and on the legend. A few things to say about this. On the top left you see Klim for Gateway 1. So that means this map will have an exit that you can jump from and go back to garage. And you see on the top again it has stable anchors. It has one condition, we don't know yet what it is. And then it says here all this atmospheric shifts, anomaly density. You see it's all okay, first maps are easy. There are no extreme conditions here. But you see the resources are in red because there are no resources in the dump forest maps, guys. You can only find fuel hill, scrap cars and things like that. Are the trailers and uh, first basic resources to loot around. But there are no resources that you can actually gather. Like uh, what is going to happen in zone 1, in zone 2 and 3 guys. And then you just pick it out like this. Make a left out of the garage and follow because the we don't have any more scan charges or anything. We can just pick it out and start doing it. You know what I mean. That's the route planner. And driving preparation. Okay, so now what we need to do. Get in the car and go to the first run, guys. So we don't have a door, we don't have anything. I just have the scraper and the pry bar to open the doors, you know what I mean. And it's gonna be useful. And of course we will bring all this. It's a little bit of health, repair putties and two flares. I will actually bring them with me. So with flares, guys, you can light yourself away. You can actually distract anomalies and things like that. And the first engine is here, already damaged a bit also. But it's all good now, actually. Let's check the car. Yeah, all well, 100%, so we don't have the door, but okay. And that's it from the introduction, guys, into the game again. This guy is not gonna do anything. So let's just go now on the first run. So once you do all this, then... Now the car dashboard. It says all what you have here. This is ability panel, guys. We don't have any abilities yet. You can put 4 here later, then the battery power 50, then the fuel here, and there is the body on the every, or, or everything of the car guys, here is the health, and this one will show the radiation when we are in the radiation later. This is small compass there guys, and that's all about the car, the shifter and the ignition, and here is the map here, so you can zoom in and zoom out with an X or the V, but now it's not working because we just need to go. So let's go. We will always exit from garage like this and go on the run. Now next thing to mention, the game automatically save guys once you pass through this door here and once you load the next area, right? So now, because I started the game, new game here, delivery window, you see now 6 minutes and 3 seconds, right? And once I pass this, the game will automatically save on that same spot, right? So, you can only manually save now while you are here. So in the garage, in the area where is the garage, right? So now I will save this on another save. Let's say number 7, yes? Why I'm doing this? Because now I will have one save right before I exit it. And then I will just do it now again, so save on the other one also, so now I have two exactly the same save guys. One is in the garage, and I will play now on the second one. So you will play on the last one that you saved, right? And that one will now automatically rewrite that, you know what I mean? So if I had only one save, I couldn't now reload back in the garage if I fuck something up here or whatever. I can't go back in the garage, but because I have two saves now I can do that, you know what I mean? And now next thing to say, once I come here, so you see now game saved, 
And once you are here, guys, now you can always, now you see the game saved on the top one, because this was the last one that I saved. So now I have this one in the garage, and this one changed the name, and it's saved now here, right at the start of this junction. And then, guys, what you can do, if you now drive around here, you fucked up your car or do whatever, you just want to reload it and try again, you know what I mean? So you can now just drive around now, this map, learn everything, loot, and if you don't like, you can just reload it and try again. But because these first maps are so easy and so small, it's only one road, you don't need to do it, you know what I mean? You can just drive, loot everything, and just pass and loot absolutely everything, and then exit the map. And that's exactly what we are going to do, guys. So this is now the story actually is going on here. We need to replace the parts and find it's kind of plasma generator, right? But as I said, you can always reload this junction again and again and try to do it again. And we are here for the start of the trailers, guys. We just shut down everything and now you can start scanning, right? So with button C, with button C, you can always scan, guys, and you want to do that to add all what you find in this logbook and that's how you start to figure out everything about the world and everything about what you can gather and all what the world have you know what i mean now you see the plasma generator you can read what it is but you can find it here later when you discover all maps right then you scan this sodium vapor light okay then you scan the trailer but okay, it's not gonna scan. So then the door, and just like that, guys, you just need to scan everything. Now here, you can actually scan resources also, right? And uh, what you can't scan, it's gonna tell you. Just, there is no scan. Uh, no, just see, blueprints. So we need to actually build the impact hammer now. I need to put it on my list. Find those materials by any means necessary. No of course. Again, so no, just look for the materials to build. And I will just scan everything, of course. Those structures won't even be there the next time the instability scrambles the area. So loot to your Nothing much here. Just... Let's loot continue. Away. Now, these lights you can actually take later with the hand back, but what you can do before that, you can just do this, guys, and grab. Grab all this, you know what I mean, grab, grab all the scrap metal and things like that. And again, this, you can scrap all the car, of course, get the rubber, get the scrap metal again. So you want to do this at the start, guys, later you will not do it because you will not need to. But for now, and I actually now, maybe I fuck it up, let's see, but I think I will have enough to build another another one now here but let's see did i fuck it up or not so lots of resources here and let's see i need to build now a new tool right and i actually can build the impact hammer we need two gears and gears are here guys but now you see scrap metal only three and if you don't have the resources to build it but you have to build this one you just hold the button first it's gonna build them and then you're gonna build the tool and i need new scraper also and now i build both tools again and let's see now use this one so with this you can actually then take the plasma here you need to hold the button guys just release it then and you will have the plasma the glass shards and the copper wire in these things here you know what i mean now let's visit the other Arda trailer here now this, you want to dismantle these guys because, again, this TV is gonna give you these good electronics, copper wire again, best red cartridges, you know what I mean. So you want to loot all this at the start, absolutely everything, destroy everything, and just grab everything guys, you know what I mean. So look now how many of everything is here. And in the same time you want to loot what you didn't, I mean you want to scan, right? Everything that you didn't. Just to learn everything about the world. So now, 
There's lots of things now here, as you can see. I can't scan anything else here. Yeah, okay, so nothing else is here. Then, let's go and visit... Oh, one more. Very good. So two plasma generators here. Just use this guy and grab everything, guys. Later, when you build better tools, you're gonna get more from these. Now, you wanna always load dumpsters, because lots of resources are here. The bigger the container, the better. I mean, more the resources, of course. And now, again, I wanna scrap all this. So this is how you start playing, guys. On this first map, on the first run, you want to grab absolutely everything, because... You have lots of time in the zone 1, you know what I mean? And you can do this, you can just quickly grab everything. You want to always destroy tires, guys, for the rubber. That's the only thing, I mean... The main thing you need to build the tires, of course. And you want to just do this at the start, on the first junctions. Just build, I mean, just destroy everything, guys, and loot absolutely everything, right? So now here, let's see. And now this is the health. Let's start scanning a bit here. The canned food, plasma, okay, we know everything about that. Now just... Oh, the TV is actually very good again, guys. Just destroyed with this. Look how many resources. Is there more? It is. Yeah, the batteries. We need a lot of them also. Now here you can demolish actually this fence, just with this again, go inside. And you want to grab everything, guys, on this first map, because once you go back in the garage, first time you want to have as much resources as you can, you know what I mean? To start building the car and the upgrades, of course. Now I think nothing much is here anymore. We can't go inside, and let's go back now, here is the day. This is very easy map to set the start. No anomalies, no anything. I mean, they have anomalies, but... No zone storms, no... Nothing on these first maps, come on. So you want to do all this and just take everything, guys. Because you need all this at the start, of course. And now we can continue, so we actually now t took all from here, everything. And look how much resources. So with the T you can just leave everything there. Now I fuck it up, because if you press the Y button, it's gonna automatically sort, and you don't want to do that. I mean, you can automatically sort here, let's say, with the Y. It's gonna just sort this, you know what I mean? And now here, if I add this to my hands, I can just heal myself holding the button. This canned food will heal you like 7 energy, so it's not that good. The big one will heal, I think, 25 or more. And you get the scrap in return when you use them, of course. So now let's continue, guys. Now here, you can actually zoom in and zoom out with the Z and with an X, guys. So just point your mouse where you want and then use the Z. Here we have the gas station. And lots of houses to loot, so now we'll clear this, we're gonna grab all this and just do what the game tells us to do, guys. Smash plasma generators and replace parts, okay. So now let's just continue, here is the radio, but I will not turn it on, because of the copyright and some of the songs, and I can't monetize the video, guys. Now this is the abductor, so you want to avoid these guys at the start. Because we don't have the limb shield yet, and uh, now look at this guy, Subductor, he will pull the car, guys, or you, and then he can throw with the car, actually, in the trees and deal a lot of damage. But once you install the limb shield, guys, then you don't have to worry about that anymore. But now here we have the towers, what we need to do, so I'll just park somewhere in the middle here. Just leave the car here, guys, and just go and do all this, right? So with the impact hammer, just go here, don't be afraid of this, because... Just when it breaks, then this thing is not working anymore. So now again, with the other tool. Now you see here, if I use this first, it's gonna give me a lot more resources. 
but if I first do this, it's still gonna give you resources, but not that much that you would get if you first open it with the pry bar, right? Again, you wanna pick all this at the start, because you have a lot of time to do all this, guys. So just do, you just grab everything you can. So that's it now. Let's continue on another. Oh yeah, I forgot to scan these guys. So that's the spark towers and the abductors on the first map, guys. Now this, you just avoid it like this and go and do what you need to do, you know what I mean? This uh, like thing's very easy to avoid. And I didn't scan this, I think oh, actually I did. So just avoid it and then you can do whatever you want here. And that's it from three pillars, guys. Now let's continue. I will just add all the resources here with the button T. Now let's see where we are. Okay, now here it's gonna be a lot of building. I will just mark them. The other thing, guys, you can zoom in very closely and then mark exactly the building that you want because later when you are on the bigger maps and it's night and all the shit is happening if you don't want to miss things like the gas station or whatever you want you just zoom in very closely mark exactly that and then you will not be able to miss you know what i mean so now i will mark the middle of this tree so that i know that i want to go there and loot everything right so let's go we need to lock at the radio station and now the first days book oh, this tapes way. So well, let's see. Uh, driver. We never introduced ourselves. Not so usually later I would just go and drive. I would not follow the road, guys, but because these tires are shit. You want to go and quickly, quickly, quickly build the off-road tires. And you can use them basically until the end, guys. Because that's the best tires to go off-road, of course. And you will drive off-road a lot. Now you don't want, I mean, I will not waste time to loot all these cars, guys, but you want to do that. You know what I mean? So just stop here. And just do it, you know what I mean? Just use this guy. And take a lot of, a lot of rubber at the start, guys. For those tires. Use, now, now you see here, if I open it like this first. Oh, fucking hell, man. Look at this. I can even... <laughs> I didn't know this, okay. But... Uh, I'm just showing now, I will not loot all four cars. I don't want to spend that much time, you know what I mean? Now here, but this is what you want to do at the start. Just loot absolutely everything from these first maps, right? But let's go now. Okay, I missed this, because here was the road, but yeah. Let's uh, let's visit this house here then, and I will go back. So you want to go inside of these trailers, guys, because only here you will find these chemicals that you need to build the repair party. And I see this door locked basic, so with the pry bar just do this, and we are inside now. This is a big one. I don't have the lights yet, but what I can do, guys, you can now light a flare. Just hold the button. And you will have the light to see now what are we doing here, you know what I mean? So this light is not long, maybe 45-50 seconds, if I remember correctly. So you can use this to just go around here. Now you see the chemicals on here, guys. Toolbox, you want to scan it if you didn't and one trailer done so now this you can actually throw it away let's say like this and it will burn there until it burns out that's it so now again leave all this guys and let's see where we are so yeah i actually want to go there where i marked and now let's see, let's see with the summer tires guys can i go and climb the hills it's gonna be very hard but i will try so now let's see, can I climb this hill here, with these shitty tires? So now you see the car is already beeping, but I think I will manage to climb this small hill. 
that's okay now because if I try to do this from this side I would probably not climb here guys I see how I'm sliding and everything so you don't want to actually do this in the first map you want to build the off-road tires but again you can do this what I'm doing now because very quickly we will build the steel parts and everything so all this crude it's gonna go and now again you want to loot all the plasma of course all of these guys you want to visit here and loot everything again this is another door this is heavy duty locked so I need to use pneumatic hammer to be able to open this one now again I will use one flare just to see what am I doing here and now here you can change actually the pry bar for some other material but I don't want to do that later we will find magnetizers in zone 2 guys then you can build the magnets there but that's another story not for right now not much of everything here now look at this guy that's an anomaly so it's a tourist these guys explode if you come close to them like this or hit them with the car they explode and deal damage but if I throw now this there you can destroy it like this with the flare then just fucking help just grab your flare back you know what I mean and continue doing what you were doing same thing with the abductor guys now I will show you if one is here but it's not and that was one of the trailer trailer let's see where I am now so I want to actually grab this also and here is one abductor guys so now look at this I'm gonna show you this now with this flare you light it like this but now he fucking moved but okay so you wanna avoid them at all costs without the limp shield guys because he will pull your car and then throw it somewhere deal damage you know what I mean now he probably want to do that but buddy what are you doing let's light this one up guys now this door requires an electrician kit there is no plasma here okay and now look at this guys if I throw the flare there he will go for it you know what I mean now these two guys I don't want to stay here long but just see can I build the electrician kit but I can't yet because I didn't unlock it right but let me see something this door should yeah fixed electrician kit so but okay game does here now you see this it's going to try to pull the car but because I left it in park he couldn't do it right so now let's just continue here Let's continue here, try to move from these guys. I need a little bit of lights here. Fucking hell yeah, these barricades. They did this on purpose here at the start. All these abductors and shit. But you just wanna avoid them guys. This. And lots of these shitty cars now here, just to prevent you from going how you want you know what I mean and now you see this truck guys when you see big trucks like this one you always you always want to check if they have the tires because these tires will give you a lot more rubber right and everything so now look much more rubber that I got from normal tires you know what I mean now these two also come on just finish this very nice, another abductor is here, come on buddy, fuck off, let's scan this truck also, the tow truck, right, and a lot of rubber and everything, look how much resources I gathered from this map already guys, and now we are going to go on the gas station, and to loot all this what is left there, and then continue with the quest, I mean with mission, so now here I will start from there, just visit both of these, I mean this house here, you can again loot all these cars but it's gonna take a lot of time guys, you will not have time to do all this, now this is the barrels, fuel barrels, 
So now if I have the can with me, I could just take the fuel from there, you know. Oh fuck it, I wanted to open the door. Now I broke the dry bar, but it doesn't matter because I will build another one. You just wanna loot all this and scan everything at the start, guys. So, okay. Maybe something around here. It's not... And there is the gas station now, guys, there. If you find the gas station on the maps, you wanna drive around and then just go there and refuel the car in the end. Once you are ready to go off that junction, just come here, park like this, and refuel your car, guys, here, like this. You can refuel your cans if you have them, you know what I mean. And uh, now let's check inside, here is nothing. Usually there is not much inside of the gas stations, maybe just a few things to load, like this. And that's it, but sometimes around gas stations are these big ones, now again empty. And sometimes there are dumpsters here that you can loot also. They have pearls and things like that, guys. But now, they aren't just any here, so let's just loot this one. I will break now this tool also probably, but still not very good. So nothing much here. But it's actually very good. Come on, give me this computer, man. So now you see how much of everything I got, guys. Just on this first map, right? Because you want to visit everything and just loot everything as quick as possible. Then exit the map. Once you grab as much of everything you want. So what the fuck, I think some tire is not good. But it is. All right, and more resources, guys. So now, the cult is refueled. It's a little bit of damage, but who gives a shit? We need to continue now here. So all the way there, let's mark that. And let's go. So I need to turn around and go here. So we checked this building. I don't want to check any more cars. Now here is the tower, guys. I mean, first tower here. Just to be able to do this mission. So now you don't want to go down, but here. On top, of course. And another abductor. So I don't want him to pull the car. You want to avoid these guys until you have the limb shield, guys. And then uh, you don't care about them anymore. It's easy to avoid them, actually, in these first maps also, as you can see now. Now just go up here, do what we need to do, and... Again, loot everything what is here, guys. So no, I still didn't fix anything, the tires are still good. You can all, always check everything on this panel here. And here we are, so now I stop here, just I will turn the car immediately. For where we gonna go back. Because we are up here just to do something. And so just stop here guys, again if you want to do all this, you can. I will a bit. Now the scrapper is gone, just come here and build another one. And just start using it again guys, because now you see how much resources I have. At the first map, first run, I mean. Once I go back in the garage, I can do what I want there then. So now let's just do what we need to do here. Take this guy, it's a broadcast transmitter. Now she will explain how this works. While she's doing that, I will loot everything around here. Device display. 
It maps all anchors in the nearby area. Find an anchor and feed it to the octopus to charge it. Don't you know what she actually is saying? That we need to go grab an anchor, feed it into the arc device here, and that's how we're gonna charge the arc device to go over that line there. And then we can jump out from this map and jump straight to garage. And uh, this is how you map the zone, guys. So first time when you come on the new junction, like it's here, you will not be able to get out because it's closed now. You see the exit is closed, right? So I can only jump out from here. But first I need to charge the arc device. So grab all these anchors, add them to the arc device, and then I'm gonna be able to jump. So I will show you that now. The game is actually teaching you how to do that now, right? Because now you can see the first anchors on the map. And we are gonna go and grab them now, guys, and add it to this thing. So that we are able to jump them. And that's how you map everything. Each time you're first on the junction, each time you first time come at the new junction, you always need to grab the anchors and then jump back to garage. And that's how you map it. And the next time when you are on that junction, you don't need to jump again, you can just pass through, you know what I mean? Let's see hey, the next like, tape. I, I keep thinking, the way you're helping our friend here right now. So now, because I already know where the, these things are, I will just grab all four, you know what I mean? But what you want to do, guys, now here, you want to mark it, as I said before. So just zoom in all the way, mark exactly where it is, and then you're gonna see it on the map, you can walk there, you know what I mean? You don't need to drive your car all the way there. So I'll just park now, let's say here, shut down everything and just run there, because now I can't miss it, you know what I mean? I marked exactly where it is, and this is how you do it. You see now, I still didn't mark it exactly, but it's... It was pretty close, so now I can just take it. Now you just take this guy and bring it back to the car, guys. Let's run this car. Run the car, okay. And this is how you charge the arc device to be able to jump to the jump gate, guys. You know what I mean? Just bring it here and with the button R, add it there. And now you will see here. Okay. You will see here how much I charge the device. So very little. We just started to charging it, right? So I'm gonna go now for the other one. What is here? Now instability, anchors, all of this shit. I just want to do this. Okay, and let's go. Let's grab all four guys, because you want to grab all four on this map. When you return to the garage, it will gonna add you to the energy that you have and then you can use that in the garage because stable energy you will, you will use for the tinker station later and uh, unstable energy you will use with the deco vent to be able to grab collectibles and things like that now because this is too steep again you know what I mean I'll just shut down the car here mark this exactly where it is and just go by foot, guys, so... You see now, click the anchors until the arc device is fully charged, right? So 0 0.3 Klim was in the first uh, anchor. Now let's see how much is going to be in this one. But while I'm here, let's try to scan this, maybe loot something here, and yeah. Because you have a lot of time to do this, guys, in the first zone. That's why I want to do all this. Just grab everything. And now you see on the top left, always this arrow will point you where your car is. And then even if it's pitch black or whatever, you can always know where is your car. You just turn towards the small arrow and just run there. So now this is the second anchor, guys. First one was 0 0.3. Now with this one, we already charged the device. So I can actually jump now already. But I don't want to do that before I grab this too, you know what I mean? I want all four anchors to, to get as much stable energy I can before I go back to garage. It's always gonna be there guys in the garage and you can add more more more. Later you will have a lot of 
all energy. Now I just want to scan this anomaly. That's a bollard. Just these things pop up from the ground and... Uh, you can damage your car and flip it around, you know what I mean? So now select gateways coordinates. Now the game just wants us to get out from here, right? To just select the gates and jump out from the map. But I'm still not gonna do that. Because I want to grab all that I can from this map. As you should do always when you play this, guys. You always want to stay as long as you can. Until the zone starts to push you out. You know what I mean? Until the zone starts to close in. And now we are going on this road. Again, lots of cars, lots of everything here. More to loot, you know what I mean? I'm just not gonna do that. I'm just going now for these two, last two anchors here. So let's go grab first this one, and then this one, and then just jump out, guys. So now, what you wanna do here? You don't want to go real close to the anchor when you're picking it up. At least not at the start when the car can be easily damaged because now once I pick this up guys the anomalies usually start to spawn very close to this now they are not but uh, usually they are and then they flip your car and do shit and you can see now there you see all the bollards and crap started spawning there you know what I mean so that's why you want to leave your car a bit further fucking hell now it's even here but you see now what I'm talking about so you don't want this, immediately half of my health is gone. Because at the start, when you don't have any upgrades for the character or for the car, all these anomalies actually can fuck you up real quick, you know. And you don't want that, so... Now let's just grab the last anchor. Now you see here, when you stop here, guys, and you... Who are these guys? You see the range, right? So, I can actually go all the way up to here with my car and then I will start it because you want to be as close as possible before you start the jump because then the zone will start to close in everything will go to hell and you need to drive as quick as possible there, you know what I mean so now I will grab the last anchor then move as close as I can to those jump gates, I will select one then then we will just jump then, because now again anomalies will start to spawn here, I think. But we are good for now. And now I grabbed a lot of resources, guys. I grabbed all four anchors, right, from this map. And then you see, where is the edge? Okay. Now let's just move from here. Come on, come on, come on. Again, the bollards and shit. So you wanna go now as close as you can. I actually forgot to map it, to mark it like this, just to see the way where I need to go and now you just wanna go as cl close as possible until they like turn red and then you are you know that you are too close right now I see lots of plasma there I want to grab that too guys before I went out now you see the first one turned red right so that means I'm in the range I can't go to this one but this one is still good so yeah let's go more I want to grab all this plasma before I exit this map Oops, so now maybe I'm too close now. Let's 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 just go a bit a little bit back. Just leave the car here guys. And then go and grab all this. Because now three plasma here, that's a lot, but I need to move now a bit. And just grab all this again. You want to grab everything at the start guys. Don't mind these. You can always avoid them. Okay, and the third one. This is the best one when it's three around them, of course. The, most, the best you can get is three. And now I can go from this map, you know what I mean? When I grabbed a lot of everything. Now when I go back I can build actually lots of things. So now let's see. And now guys, once you are finished and you want to get out, come to the these guys as close as possible, right? Then just select it like this. And drive there as quick as you can. Fucking hell, just turn on the car, man, let's go. Because now the zone will start to close in. As you can see on the map, guys. It's still not closing it, but it will will. Because this is the first... First map now, it's not gonna... 
be crazy, but this is how you then exit the map, guys. This is how you map the junctions. Every time you reach the new one, you need to first grab the anchors and then jump through the jump gate. And now you see the map, how it's closing this radiation immediately. If I stay now a bit longer, that would eat my car significantly. And now let's just jump through the gate, guys. And go back to the garage. And we are back in the garage, guys. With lots of resources. Now you see this trip. 38 minutes. And we grab 3.8 stable energy. That's very good. Because later I can use those stable energy here, as I said. So now here, let's just see. Okay, all is good. So let's just see what we need to do actually now. Just fix the car a bit. Leave all the resources in our locker, guys. No broadcast transmitter, I forgot actually. Oh yeah, build the antenna, man. Break open the back room. Yeah, let's do that then. You know, I'm just doing what the story is telling me to do. Let's break this door also. And this is the fabrication station, guys. So whatever you learn here, right? You can then build on the on this workbench later, right? And now the game requires us to build the antenna. That's gonna be the first thing. And then later lots of outfits here, guys. Define survival tools, lights, as you can see, car body, wheels, expansion racks, car storage, fuel, battery, utilities and engines. But for now let's just build the antenna. And we need to install it on the roof, guys. So just go back around here and... I mean, you can go through this door also. Just mount it here. This is gonna be able to allow us to map the actual junctions. That's scanning antenna, guys. Yeah. Antenna signals coming through loud and clear. Give it a moment to initialize. Okay, so now let's just grab all this, leave it in the locker. And let's see what we can do now, guys. So now, get the handbrake from the back room, storage locker, very good. Another storage locker now here. And this is the part what we need to install. And this is very good part. I have lots of... I, I mean, I have one tip about this, how to use, guys. You want to have the handbrake always. And another good thing, what we said, once you are back from the run, this car will be refreshed. And everything here will be refreshed, and then again, you want to just scrap all this, of course. Scrap these too. Later you will not do this when you build everything, unlock everything and have all good. You know what I mean? You will not do this. You will not scrap any cars later and shit like that. Because you will just not don't need to, you know what I mean? But at the start, you need to do this every time you come back from a run, guys. If you want to grab as much as material as always, now then you use this guy three times. And now he will start giving us the parts and everything. But again, these parts, what this guy gives, you can't... Uh, and you can't fix, you know what I mean? You can't... Uh, let me see now. I mean, actually, you can fix them. But you can't, dis you can't dismantle them later in this matter generator here and get parts for them, you know what I mean? So you can just use them like this and later throw them away or whatever. And now he gave us this trunk, right? This transfer trunk. So now if, if I open my inventory, you see I'm holding this in my hands. I can go here and just add this in the trunk and just leave them there wherever I want. Let's use this guy again. So another part, now you see crude panel. It's gonna add here, right? And I can use this one more time. And a little bit more resources, so always use this guy three times, guys. Then it's gonna be exhausted like this. It's not gonna spit anymore. And always just disassemble all of this, grab all the resources, guys. Now I will leave this here, because I don't need to. Just give me that part, give me everything. And another panel from the dumpster, right? So now you see, if I take the repair putty, you can still fix this, so you know what I mean, you don't need to build new things, this guy will usually give you 
parts and things like that that you lost from run or you know what I mean sometimes it won't but uh, so we need the headlight guys and we need back door and back bumper to finish the car so now let's just see I want to build all that so one bumper can I build the lights crude headlights yeah but it's shit but okay let's build then two of them and add them here because these headlights have this shit on top and then it's not that great like normal headlights but because they fuck it up I lost one I will then put this, the both of them to what? I built only one actually then let's leave it like this I'm not gonna build the second one and let's fix the car a bit more so now just the back bumper oh yeah that's all actually here because I didn't have space in my inventory I will just now change this because I want to have the same lights, you know what I mean I leave this for later because I can fix this later, not now, I leave it here and leave all the shit here so now guys what we need to do, find your way to town, so we need to go on another route we need to repair the car build everything and battery jumper and the road flares, all right battery jumper and the road flares so again then here let's build one battery jumper and add it in the trunk and now we just need the road flares but I don't have them so I don't actually care but yeah in this in this actually when it's this locker unlocks you get a little bit more resources again more of this and the first hand back guys and that's the tool to actually with this tool you can grab certain resources and you can grab everything from the floor or whatever it is you know what I mean this is a very handy tool to have so I will bring it up with me on the next uh, drive so now just let me see we didn't bring road flares just leave them this again here but not all leave this one there and we need to craft uh, the back door guys so now just the crude door again and add them here and now the car is actually we have the whole bodywork and I need to fix the hood and this shit oh my god man again take this one fix the hood and the panel and now you see here how it's all going green and I want to see this tire actually here yeah, it's actually still good so now guys let me see yeah, it's still all crude we didn't unlock anything yet I need to go on the second run but after the first run now you see I have three tools we don't have the pry bar so I need to build another one and add it to number one again do this like this and that's it guys so now just want to see here yeah okay health charger repair putty and all is good for the next run so now lots more map is opened and what you want to do guys again you want to map everything you need to go on this one then jump go back to be able to map next one now you see this was the first junction because I jumped back now it's mapped and I can go to the next one and when I reach this one I will just drive through and then I need to jump on this one go back to garage then jump on this one go back to garage you know what I mean and that's how you map the whole zone once you mapped everything then you can just drive through all do whatever you want so now again I will go where the quest tells us to go so because we have only this one here I need to go to that and there if I wanted to now go through here I first need to map this one so go on one run then jump from here back to garage and then I need to go to this one but I will now go go straight to this one just to finish the main quest more so I can unlock more things you know what I mean so I want to do that like this so 90% and I will actually just fix the car with this last one as much as I can guys so all what is damaged a lot I'm just gonna use one more putty yeah this guy 
so to just fix it a little bit more yeah, I want them this tire actually and that's all about the parties guys now 96% all is good and we can go on another run right there's the second run here so you want to grab all this fix build whatever you want and oh look at this three three of these very nice let's actually take them all again and I'm ready for the second run guys continuing with the story all is good so let's just go oh fuck yeah the last thing assigning abilities guys because now we have the handbrake right and I'm always putting it on space so now you see here it's gonna if you press and hold it it's gonna use 0.01 .01 per second so it's gonna use power right so if I now do this press the handbrake and hold it now you will see each second shoot you see now 49.9 and it's very easily using the battery but it's not it's very very little so you can actually use this how much you want then the next thing about the handbrake guys as you can see now here if I do this it's not gonna stay on when you release the button right but if you hold the button like this and look at the map then release the button and release the map the handbrake will stay on you know what I mean and this is very useful when you are climbing the hills and it's some dangerous situation you can always just press and hold look at the map release the button and your car will still stay you know what I mean because the handbrake will hold it then even if you get out of the map and then start looking around you don't need to hold the space all the time you know what I mean it will hold but as long as you are in the car if you get out of the car the ability panel shuts down guys and it's not gonna work you know what I mean then you need to put in the park that if you don't want your car to drive around from the hill to drive you know what I mean to drive back from the hill and I think this is it from the first episode guys guys now the game will automatically reload save and I enter this what else I wanted to say nothing that's it from this first episode guys I forgot to close this shit actually so use the handbrake like that when you are on the hill you can just press and hold the button look at the map then release the button and the uh, handbrake will stay you know what I mean and then just start driving like this so thank you for watching guys if you like what you see consider liking subscribing and commenting and join me in another episode where we are going to visit the next junction that is going to be this one and yeah we will just continue with the story with everything so now you see we map the first one on the right side you can see what I found out so far it's only abductors park towers and three other things I didn't found actually all what you can find on this first one and then here again you just scan everything what you can scan until you fill out all these on the right side and then you know what you can find here what anomalies what resources and whatever and again this is the dump forest so no resources still we have the jump gate again stable anchors and everything is good so here is low fuel a lot of buildings and anomaly storm actually atmospheric shift and radiation density is a little bit worse than uh, the first one but again it's again nothing because all when it's in green and in white uh, it's all good and just the perpetual stability that's nothing so yeah guys so join me in the next episode where we're gonna visit d5 if you liked what you see consider liking subscribing commenting and see you in another video guys bye